Yes, hello people. This is Brother. Hello people. This is Brother Kingsley. I want to ask you, how is your faith? How is your faith working with God? Just in case, if you forget, as a Christian, what makes you to be a Christian? How is your faith and your work with God? Does your faith based on because you are praying? Do you think because you are praying that will make you a Christian? Do you think even though you make sinners confession, that does not necessarily mean that you are a Christian? Because me and you need to get this wisdom and understanding from the get-go that what makes me and you a Christian is our faith that we do what? Put into the finished work of Jesus Christ at the cross of Calvary. And that's what makes me and you Christian. Amen. So as you can see, you have to miss your prayer with your belief and mingle it with what? Faith based on the finished work of Jesus Christ at the cross of Calvary. And that what makes me and you what? Christian. So to be a Christian and for you to call yourself a Christian is to do what? Put your faith on Christ Jesus Christ. Except you want to accomplish something else. Because that job is already done more than 2,000 years ago. Christ said that job, it is finished. Before he breathed his life breath, he said what? Well, it is finished. So today, a lot of people think because they have been born into a Christian home, that won't make them a Christian. No. A lot of, do you think even if you go into church, do you think that what makes you a Christian? No. What makes you a Christian is to put your faith on the finished work of Jesus Christ. And that is why I'm here today. To explain to you that if you think your righteousness gonna make can I take into the kingdom of God, it's not going to happen. Isaiah chapter 64, verse 6 says what? All of us are unclean, and our righteousness is a filthy rag in the eyes of Jesus. So, as you can see, me and you, we have nothing else to offer to God rather than to, to, to do what? To put our faith based on the finished work of Jesus Christ. And that is why the Bible said that is why the Bible said that Abraham was counted righteousness in the eyes of God. Because he do what? He believed God. Don't you know that the God justified the ungodly? And that is why Jesus Christ has so much trouble with the Pharisees, with the Sadducees, with the scribes. Because they keep on pointing at the circumcision, keep on pointing at the law. Do you know what that law means? The law is a way that shows that how sinful we are. He points to us what is wrong and what is right. But I know and you know that he can never keep 100% of the law. And that is why Jesus Christ was telling them it is only the sickly doctor. He, he, he preferred what? Mercy over justice. And that is why me and you need to get this wisdom today. That our faith should be based on the finished work of Jesus Christ. Except if you are looking to accomplish something else. If that work is not good enough for you, I cannot help you. Because that work is good enough for me and for everybody that believes. And that is why I put my faith in the hand of Jesus Christ. If the Bible says that my righteousness and your righteousness is a fitting rag in the eyes of God, you know what that means? It means masturbation, cloth, full of blood. Remember in those days, you can bring any, um, any animal that was thin, even though you have any wound in your body, you can never approach the temple. But today, we can approach the presence of God with confidence because that lamp is still breathing. If you have a look in the book of Revelation chapter 4 verse 5, you say, well, the lamb that was slain is still bleeding. It have not come as a lion of the tribe of Judah at the moment. No, that will be the last day. But guess what? You have every time in your life now to do what? To change. Change your mindset. Put your faith unto Jesus Christ, who is the author and finisher of my faith and your faith. And remove your mindset from the work. You can never work enough. You can try. But you, you do what? You accomplish nothing. Amen. And that is why I'm here today to tell you what. Abraham believed God. He counted to him as righteousness. It is your belief. It's not, it doesn't matter how many times you go to church. 
you can go to church that does not make you a Christian you can pray that still don't make you a Christian you can do all these works that will not make you a Christian what will make you a Christian is what just in case if you forget it is your faith on Jesus Christ and that is why we are called Christians because we trust him and not by yourself not me not you amen get this wisdom today and put your faith based on the finished work of Jesus Christ so that you can make it into the kingdom of God and I hope you understand this message it is loud and clear for me and I hope it is loud and clear for you as well so that we can know what make it into the kingdom of God put our faith on the finished work of Jesus Christ at the cross of Calvary personally to me it is good enough for me and it should also be clear to you if you do not understand this pray over it and God will make it clear to you so that you can do what don't lean by your own understanding but lean on to the finished work of Jesus Christ at the cross of Calvary so that all of us can make it into the kingdom of God amen God bless you for listening God bless you for watching remain blessed and give your life to God so that you can do what have internal life because internal life is in Christ Jesus Christ only in Jesus name I pray in your life amen God bless you see you later bye